vloggy vlog. I'm gonna see if I can get into some cover for a second because it is quite windy today. So just bear with me a moment. That's better. That's a lot better. So I'll just uh, come into the Hesel Cemetery because it's quite a lot of trees, so there's a bit more cover for the wind there. So good, good. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's good. Just thought to do a little vlog while I've got time to. So I'm uh, just been for my annual flu jab injection. So just had to go and get that done. That's why I'm out. So. I just thought while I'm out, I will do a little vloggy vloggy vlog. So, so yeah, I'm not doing too bad at the moment. I'm uh, day off today, day off yesterday, back in tomorrow for work at 4am again. So I had to get up about, I got up about 9 o'clock this morning. Because I, I had an appointment to get a few, the flu jab at quarter past ten. But I've just been uh, in a queue for the past 20 minutes outside the doctor's surgery. So that was fun. So, <laughs> nice way to start the day. But, yeah, I know some people will be commenting or saying, flu jab, you're only, what, 30? But, yeah, I need one every year. Mostly because I've got asthma. So because I've got asthma, I am uh, allowed to have a free flu jab every year. So, so she just said to me as well that I need to book another appointment to see the nurse, which is possibly an, an asthma checkup. So I usually have one of them every year about this time as well. So I need to book that in at some point while I've got a spare second. But it is a very windy and very gloomy day today. And as you can see, I'm in Hesel Cemetery, but I'm not going to desert it. I'm not going to go around any graves or anything like that because that would be disrespectful. At least that's my opinion, anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm doing good at the moment. Um, quite chilled. Had a little drink last night. Um, had a couple of uh, JD and Coke, and uh, I tried this new beer called Vocation. Well, I won't call it. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new to me, anyways. Uh, called Vocation Brewery, and it was a chocolate caramel stout. So I tried that, and it's not bad actually. It's quite bitter. It's got a bitter. It's definitely a stout. It tastes like a stout, but it was a very bitter, chocolatey thing. So it tasted like a really dark, bitter, dark chocolate. So uh, quite nice though. I got that from work. Um, they, they seem to be selling a lot of uh, local breweries, people that are from like based in York and around our area. A lot of these little breweries doing their own little twist and infusions with ale and stout and beers and stuff. I'm always happy to just try a, a new beer now and again. But uh, today's Halloween. Happy Halloween everybody as well. If today at the time of recording this and uploading this, it is the 31st. Saturday the 31st of October. It's November starts and November is my birthday is this month, uh, next month, or this coming month, should I say, on the 28th. I've no idea if I'm going to do anything. Um, it looks like I might not because there's a lot of talk about could be going to another lockdown again. Um, I don't know about our area, but our area has there's been a big, sharp increase in positive. Covid uh, symptoms and such, people getting it in our area and uh, as of midnight this morning, as of midnight we went on tier 2, 
which means we're not allowed to have anyone at our own homes. We're not allowed to invite people in, but we can still go to a restaurant or pub max of six. So that's the only thing that's changed on tier two, but I've heard that they might be bringing in a, like another little full lockdown or a partial one, I don't know. But I hope not. But unfortunately, if the, 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 the cases are still rising quite rapidly, so it might need to be done, unfortunately. Stepped in a puddle. That's good. But yeah, so I've not been up to much lately. I've just been working. Um, at the moment, there isn't any overtime at work, so a lot of the days that I've been in, I've been, I've been quite spread out throughout the week. So yeah, not very good because I am. I want to get as much overtime in because I want to try to start saving but I haven't been able to save at all for the past couple of months so, so I wanted to get a bit of a head start on the new year you see I forgot a parking ticket, but I don't actually live around there, so anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm heading back home now. Just thought I'd uh, walk to the doctors and walk back, get a little bit of exercise in and up this morning. Always good to get the motor running and the old ticker going. So, but yes, yeah, so I'm actually quite excited at the moment and quite happy because uh, something on the horizon I didn't think it would happen at all this year I thought it would be kind of a new year thing after Christmas but uh, hopefully if all goes well we could be joined by another couple of little cats little kitty cats um, I went on the pet pet protection yeah pet, uh, cats protection sorry website just on just to just check and see what they had available and I found two cats called Lily and Bam Bam uh, this is all up on the social medias as well so no doubt people would have already seen this already but um, yeah Lily and Bam Bam um, a black and white cat and a fully black cat with white paws very cute um, Please. But yeah, so hopefully if all goes well, we have um, we've reserved them, and hopefully we will be picking them up a week on Monday. Um, I can't see any issues happening, but I'm just gonna wait until the time, until the day of us picking us up, picking them up. So. But no, we wasn't going to get two cats, we was only going to get the one, originally. But, um, the reason why we ended up getting two is because they didn't want to split the ones that we've chosen up. Um, they were like real good friends, really, we got on well together. One's three and one's six. And uh, they get on together and they bonded together. And uh, they said that you think it'd be a bit cruel if they was to split them up because they, they like each other and they're very close to one another. So, so we decided to go for both of them. So, because it's uh, it's nice. It's a nice thing to do. Because I don't like it with animals if they're bonded to like a sibling or if they're bonded to something like a, another cat or a dog or whatever. I don't like to split them up. I find it's a little bit cruel, really. But I'm happy that we hopefully can give them a nice loving home that they did rightly deserve. So, but yeah, that's something nice. It'd be nice to have a little, a couple of little cats around the house again. 
because obviously it's been about three months since my, since Mindy passed away um, and the house just seems really bare and empty without any little fairy little things around the house <laughs> so but anyway so that's the vlog for today people so I'm going to love you and leave you now so thanks for watching I will see you all very soon